my body um, I'm wearing the same clothes I wore in my target teacher haul because I am batch filming videos there is no one in the house except for my one-year-old and she's taking a nap so I thought while it was quiet I would go ahead and film some more videos um, today I am going to talk about my quickly about my weight loss journey and then why I chose keto and what the past three weeks of keto have been like so there, the whole reason of me starting this channel was because I'm on a weight loss journey and I wanted to document this for myself. I wanted to see my progress. I wanted to talk about my progress. I wanted to be able to look back and say, wow, you've come a really long way and to have that um, documented for myself. And I thought I would share it with people because I love watching other people's weight loss journeys and I thought, why not me? Why not just do this? So. I realized that I hadn't made a keto video and the whole point of this channel was for me to make a key to talk about keto so I'm gonna very quickly because I don't want this to be an hour long I'm gonna very quickly tell you a little bit about my weight loss um, journey or life or whatever because I feel like I've been on a weight loss journey forever um, and then I'm gonna talk to you about the past three weeks of keto so so I uh, have kind of struggled with weight my whole life um, in my head. Um, when I look back at pictures, I realize that I wasn't really struggling with weight. It was just in my head. I thought that I was. Um, so I was not the skinniest child, but I also wasn't huge, if that makes sense. Um, I always had a little bit of extra meat on me, but I was never fat, I don't think, as a child. Um, when I got into my teenage years, I ate like a teenager. I was very depressed. I went through a lot of, you know, issues in my life and I gained quite a bit of weight. Fast forward, I uh, got pregnant at 17 years old um, and I had my first baby at 18. So by the age of 18, my body was... <laughs> not like an 18 year old. I did not bounce back like a lot of young people do when they have their first baby. Um, my body, I had stretch marks. I um, had gained 70 pounds with my daughter, which is crazy. 70 pounds I gained with one child. And that beautiful baby came out at seven pounds. <laughs> and I was like, where's the other 63 pounds? Um, so I, after I had my daughter, I tried to lose weight and I was a, I was mostly successful. Um, I was able to drop quite a bit of that weight. Um, and then two years later, I got pregnant with my son and I gained about 40 pounds with him. And uh, my son had a lot of health problems as an infant. He still has some health problems. He has um, a disorder or a... I don't know what you would call it, but he was born with uh, something called femur fibula ulna syndrome. So we were at the orthopedist a lot. We were, you know, dealing with his health issues a lot. So I was not taking care of myself. I was really uh, focused on him and taking care of him. And so I let myself go. Um, fast forward about two years, I decided it was time for me. It was time for me to take care of myself. It was time for me to to focus on my health, to lose the weight that I needed to lose, and to get myself healthy. At this point, I think I was about 200 pounds, about 200 pounds, 190, 200. Um, and so I decided to start number one, calorie counting, and number two, running. Um, so I quickly dropped a lot of weight um, just from calorie counting and running. And uh, I ran, I was actually training for a 5K. So I ran my 5K and then decided that it, that I wanted to run a marathon. And there was, first of all, if you just start running and you run a 5K, your next step is not a marathon. Let me just tell you, <laughs> I don't know what happened in my head that I thought, oh, I ran a 5K, let me go run a marathon. Um, that's not the next step usually. Usually you'll do a couple 5Ks, then a 10K, then a half, then maybe a marathon. I am not like that. I'm kind of an all or nothing kind of girl. So I decided to train for a marathon. So 
I spent a lot of my summer of 2012 uh, training for a marathon, the Atlantic City Marathon, mind you. And uh, in October of 2012, I ran my first marathon. I finished in, yeah, I was slow, like four hours and 30 minutes, I think it was. Um, but I did finish, and at that point, I had lost a ton of weight. I was about 100 and, I wanna say I was like 130 pounds when I ran my marathon. So I was quite slim for my frame, and, um, I was happy I mean I was like I felt good about my uh, weight loss but when I looked in the mirror I still saw that chubby girl I still felt fat um, and so I stopped running as much um, I started eating crappy and I kind of went through a rough time in my life um, I went through a divorce um, and we moved halfway across the country and you know it was just a really stressful time and I ended up uh, gaining weight again and so by the time um, I would say in 2015 I was about a hundred and I want to say like 170 pounds at that point in 2015 um, and then I got pregnant with my daughter my two-year-old um, in I think I found out in August of 2015 and she was born in April of 2016 something like that so um, I gained about 30 pounds with her uh, by the end of that pregnancy I was over 200 pounds at that point and I had her immediately after um, I had her I decided to do the 21 day fix and that worked really well I you know enjoyed the process I enjoyed the meal planning and I dropped some weight um, I had tried um, I mean there was just so many different things I tried keto at one point um, I tried Adkins I tried calorie counting again um, I tried running I tried um, a, you know a million different things and the weight kind of just stuck it was really hard to lose the weight um, and then in, and then I got pregnant again. <laughs> I just kept having babies. Um, I got pregnant again and with my one year old and I gained about 30 pounds with her. So by June of last year, I was, when I delivered her, I was 233 pounds, which is the heaviest I have ever been in my adult life. Um, or in my life in general and I was incredibly depressed about that number and shocked at that number so over the past year um, I have been trying to lose weight um, I wouldn't say that I committed fully to it I was kind of you know wishy-washy I would try this diet I would try this diet I would exercise a little bit um, you know, we had a lot of stuff in our life happen in the past year. I switched jobs. I was um, teaching at a preschool, uh, which isn't big. That's not big. But, you know, there were a lot of different changes in our life, caring for, you know, four to five kids. We um, technically have five, but my stepdaughter does not live with us full time. So in our day to day life, we had four that we were caring for um, financial issues and just a lot of stuff happening in our life. And I was not caring once again for my body. And so fast forward to uh, I want to say about May, April or May, I started going to the gym and I was still not eating right at all. <laughs> Uh, but I was going to the gym and so I was making a little bit of progress. I dropped about five pounds doing that. So I was at around, you know, 220 at that point. And then in June of this year, I decided to try the Whole30, which I had done in the past and I enjoyed it. Um, and I did Whole30 for about 15 days. I did not do it for the whole time. <laughs> Um, I did it for about 15 days and I did not drop any weight on Whole30, but I did feel better. And I do think that doing Whole30 made my transition to keto a thousand times easier. I didn't experience any keto flu symptoms. 
Um, I didn't feel too crappy the first week. I mean, it was a good transition. So I stopped um, Whole30 uh, around like June 15th or so, and I like decided to just research and figure out something that was gonna be lifelong for me because I don't like doing diet. I want something that's going to be lifelong for me because I kind of jump from diet to diet to diet to diet hoping for a quick fix, but realizing there are no quick fixes. There's just not. You need to commit to something that is sustainable for your life. And for me, Whole30, which obviously is not meant to be a lifelong diet, um, that wasn't sustainable for me. Calorie counting, as strictly as I was, was not sustainable for me. The 21 day fix was not sustainable. That way of eating was not sustainable for me. Um, I mean, paleo, I tried paleo, and that probably could have been sustainable, but I just didn't stick with it. So I did my research, I started watching YouTube videos, um, I found, you know, Keto Connect. I found Keto Savage, who is by far my favorite keto channel. Um, I love, love, love his videos. If you do not watch him, please go watch him because he's phenomenal. He's very um, educational. He really gives you a lot of good tips. And him and his fiance, I think it's fiance right now, Crystal, they're just so great and so genuine. And um, I really, really love his channel. So I'm going to link it down below. Please go there. Um, and and watch him so anyways I did all my research I decided that keto was the way for me to do this I mean um, you know for me to lose weight and it was something that I felt was sustainable for the long term so I we went to the grocery store we got all of our groceries I had meal planned I meal prepped and I started keto on June 29th that same day, I started an Instagram um, and I just started connecting with people who were also doing keto. And let me tell you, if you are going to start keto, get yourself an Instagram or go on Facebook and join a Facebook keto group because the people that you are going to meet are so genuine and so supportive. Um, you know, even more so, and I love my family and I love my friends, but these people that I have met met on the internet are so supportive, even more so than some of the people in my life um, because they get it. They get what you're going through. They see what you're going through. They feel what you're going through and they're able to give you advice and they're able to empathize with you and you're able to talk about this common interest and they are just as passionate about it as you are. Um, you're able to joke and it's just, it's so fulfilling for me to connect with people who love the same thing that I do. So if you are gonna start keto, I highly, highly, highly suggest that you connect with other people who are doing keto, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, start a YouTube channel, um, find a keto group in your area, which I haven't even done that. I need to do that too. Find something, somebody that's also doing this that you can connect with. If you can't find anybody, message me, add me on Instagram. I will be your partner in this um, because this is something that I'm very passionate about. It's something that I love and I find the support of others kind of pushes me along. I think if I didn't have the support of my Instagram friends, um, and the support, of course, of my family and, and in-person friends, real life friends. I don't want to say real life because Instagram to me is still real life. I'm still talking to real people, but you get the idea. If I didn't have that support from all of those people, I probably would have quit on like day three. So thank you guys. If you're watching, thank you. Um, connect with people, get, get yourself connected. So um, I started my Instagram on that first day and I just started posting progress pictures. I took a pic I took my pictures. Sorry, that's my alarm. It's fine. I think it was just testing itself. Um anyways, <laughs> I started posting pictures on Instagram. I started, you know, um I took my measurements. I took my weight in 3 weeks or um June on June 29th, I weighed 200 
and 11.6 pounds, I believe it was at that time. Now, I had um, kind of dropped from 220 to 212-ish um, just by going to the gym and eating a little bit healthier um, over the past like four, three, three months, I guess it would be. Um, so that's where that difference is. If you go back and listen and I said 220, I dropped some more weight in between starting the gym and starting keto. Um, so I started keto, uh, this is, I'm starting, I started my fourth week yesterday. Uh, so I started keto three weeks ago. I was 211.6 pounds. Uh, the first week for me was very easy. Um, I felt because I had done the whole 30, it wasn't as difficult for me. Um, I was still able to have my coffee. I was still able to have, you know, um, the things that I really enjoyed. I think for me, the, the hardest part was I couldn't have chips. Um, I can't have potatoes. <laughs> Um, I'm not really, I don't have much of a sweet tooth, so that doesn't bother me, but like the potatoes, the car, like the starch, that is really hard for me. So that first week was an easy transition, um, except for that part. I didn't experience any of the keto flu, so I didn't get headaches, I didn't feel nauseous, I didn't, I wasn't sluggish, I wasn't tired, I felt really good that week. Um, and I lost... I want to say I lost four pounds that first week. Um, if you, I'm not sure if that's accurate. So if you want to check my Instagram down below, I know I've posted weekly updates and it will be on there. So I believe I lost about four pounds that first week, which is incredible. Four pounds in one week is great. Um, by the second week, I was still doing good. Um, I did notice a few more cravings and like I was kind of getting sick of eating, uh, of not being able to have carbs. Um, I was a little bit more irritable, uh, but overall I felt good. I felt a little sluggish at the gym, not too bad. Uh, but I definitely, I think I noticed more symptoms in that second week than the first week. Uh, and I dropped, I want to say I dropped another two or three pounds in that second week. So I was still making progress. This past week was my third week. Um, I was sick at the beginning of the week, very sick. I don't know what caused me to be so sick, um, but I just felt like garbage. Um, I believe it was electrolyte deficiency. And so I was really feeling crappy. I rehydrated and I feel much better. Um, I've had some decent workouts this week and so far, and so I lost another uh, pound this week. So I'm down to 202 since June 29th for a total of nine pounds. Is that right? Yes, nine pounds I have lost um, in three weeks. So pretty good, about three pounds a week, which is great and I feel like that is um, over what I was expecting to lose so I'm very happy about that. I've also lost a lot of inches off of my waist and my hips. Um, I feel energetic. I feel focused. I feel um, prior to keto I was needing to go lay down like midday. <laughs> I needed a nap when my girls napped and now I don't feel like I have to do that. I feel um, awake and energized and like I do f I feel better I feel better um, I'm someone that I have fibromyalgia I have chronic fatigue syndrome and those things have really weighed heavily on me especially in all my weight loss um, journeys <laughs> I've had a lot of them um, and I feel as though this time I am feeling the best that I have ever felt while losing weight. I don't feel deprived. I don't feel like I'm having a lot of cravings. Um, I don't feel like I'm hungry a lot of times. Um, so I, so far, this has been the most sustainable to me as far as diets are concerned. Um, now, Starting this past week, I started something called intermittent fasting. If you do not know what that is, it's basically where you are going to fast for about 16 hours a day and then you have an eight hour eating window. Um, this has been a good change for me. It has been a little bit difficult just because of my lifestyle. 
Um, I do wake up at 4.30 in the morning and go to the gym. And then um, with intermittent fasting, I'm not able to eat until later. So I do find myself hungrier in the morning and moving my eating window up a lot is not possible because of the timing of our dinner. Um, so it's I'm still playing around with it, but I have noticed um, that it seems to be a good change for me. Um, I'm able to stay within my calorie limit. I'm able to hit my macros. I'm able to, you know, just kind of stay focused in, uh, like on my macros. Like I'm really able to hit them. Whereas before I added intermittent fasting, I was going over my calories every day and now I'm not doing that. So that's been a huge plus. Um, so yeah, that is basically it. My weight loss journey at the beginning and then now keto. So I've lost nine pounds. I've lost several inches. I will put my stats below. I'm not afraid to share my measurements, my weight. Um, I just said it on camera. I'm currently 202 pounds. I am 5'5". Um, and that's what it is. So I am going to uh, stand up and I'm gonna show you uh, right now what I look like at 202 pounds and I'm going to be doing weekly updates on my weight loss so every Wednesday you guys are gonna see a weight loss Wednesday and uh, I'm gonna film it on Tuesday I'm gonna weigh in Tuesday film it and you know have it up for you guys by Wednesday um, this is something that I've just wanted to do and I will show you guys what I ate that week I will show you I will let you guys know how the week was because not every week not every day is good there are some days um, I have tried to stay focused but it's not easy this this weight loss journey has not been easy um, but I know it's gonna be worth it so let me stand up and show you guys uh, kind of what I look like right now well so this is what I look like I am in a dress. I can kind of tighten it so you guys can see. This is what, um, on me, what 202 pounds looks like. Again, I am 5'4", or 5'5", five five, sorry. And this is it. This is probably not the best dress, and I'm wearing shorts underneath um, because I have toddlers. So that is what I look like at 202 pounds. So please join me on this weight loss journey. Please subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if you're on a weight loss journey. If you have a YouTube channel, please let me know so I can subscribe and follow you. Follow me on Instagram. Um, let me know if you have an Instagram so I can follow your weight loss journey. And yeah, I look forward to sharing this with you guys. Even if nobody watches, I look forward to sharing this with myself in the future. Um, you know, just keep on guys. Like I know it's hard. There are some days when I just don't want to do it. I don't want to care. I just tell myself I'm just going to be fat and <laughs> that's okay with me. Um, but I need to do this for myself and I'm speaking to myself in the future. I need to do this for myself and, um, you guys can do it. You can do it. It's, it's a journey. It's not a marathon or it's not a, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. I know that's corny, but it's the truth. It's going to take a while and that's okay. It's consistent, hard work, consistent effort, um, is what's going to get you to your goal. So keep going, keep pushing. If you need support, let me know. And, uh, I hope you guys will subscribe and continue to watch my progress. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them down below. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.